All right, joining us now to talk about the latest in the Gallagher case is Bernard Carrick, the former New York City Police Commissioner. He also has an op-ed on Newsmax.com written with Eddie Gallagher's defense attorney, Tim Parlatori, calling for the removal of Rear Admiral Colin Green, who is now currently in charge of the Navy SEALs. Uh, Bernie, great to see you, as always. Thanks, John. And as you've told me many times, as Sean Gallagher, Eddie brother, Eddie's brother has told me many times, Carl Higby, John Gillum, other SEALs I've spoken to about this, they say basically this comes down to Gallagher was punished uh, to this extent, basically because he just didn't take his punishment quietly. Do you think Rear Admiral Green made taking on Eddie Gallagher personal, his personal mishes, mission from the time he took over the SEALs in 2018? I, I think it was personal. Uh, I think he had a, for whatever reason, we can't uh, we can't figure out what that reason was, um, but there was a, a personal vendetta, if you will. Um, this is an admiral that sent subcommanders out to the field, told them to tell people to stay away from Eddie, do not support him, he's guilty, um, complete undue command influence that should not have happened. Um, con his command constantly worked uh, day in and day out. When I sat through the trial uh, for two and a half weeks, uh, he had people from his office that was constantly in, in, had interaction with the prosecutors. I mean, completely bizarre, unacceptable, unethical behavior, not to mention within the trial itself, you had prosecutors that engaged in criminal conduct, they wiretapped, uh, they, they surveilled the defense team through, uh, through uh, a device that they shouldn't have had on the email system. Um, they extorted false testimony from witnesses and used that during trial. Um, and and, it had, and then, had this been, Bernie, a regular criminal case, the, the type that, you know, average folks go through, not in the military, all those things would be ground for dismissal from the case, but not in the military criminal justice system, right? Well, that's exactly right. And there's the, and the biggest demonstration of that, John, is when they, um, you know, they the government put their star witness on the stand, a medic, who while on the stand admitted that he himself killed the terrorist, not Eddie Gallagher, and admitted that he had never been asked that by the prosecutors during seven or eight times he had been interviewed. And just to be clear, right, there were other people in the picture we're talking about here, the one that led to Gallagher's conviction, they haven't been prosecuted, right? Not only have they not been prosecuted, they haven't been brought up on uh, administrative charges uh, or anything else. They, they weren't sent before a tried and review board. Um, nothing, nothing's happened to any of them, including Gallagher's superior lieutenant who's in that photo. So this was clearly retaliatory and Gallagher was ordered before the tried and review board on Monday morning, the Monday after Friday, when the president restored his rank. Right. So this was a retaliatory measure by the admiral, an admiral that has overseen this entire corrupt, unethical, and criminal investigation and should be booted from the Navy SEALs. I wanted to get your take, too, on Spencer's letter and his parting shot here. We, we quoted them earlier, but just so you have it here in front of you. This is what he said. The rule of law is what sets us apart from our adversaries. Good order and discipline is what has enabled our victory against foreign tyranny time and again. Unfortunately, it has become apparent in this respect. I no longer share the same understanding with the commander in chief who appointed me in regards to the key principle of good order and discipline. I cannot in good conscience obey an order that I believe violates the sacred oath I took. He says it violates his sacred oath. What's your response to that, Bernie? Well, there's two. There's, I have a couple things to remind him of. One, his sacred oath is to the United States of America. The president of the United States is the commander in chief and ultimate convening authority over the military and his direct boss. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Number two, if you're talking about law and order and you're really concerned about the Constitution, well, then you should have been looking at this case from the beginning because there's no greater threat to our Constitution and our government than a government agency that weaponizes this criminal justice system to, to deprive somebody of their liberty and freedom illegally. And that's exactly what the Navy did, and he was in charge of doing it. And to our understanding, Eddie Gallagher wants to retire. That's due to take place in a couple of days. You know, why won't the Navy just let him ride off into the sunset quietly? Well, as of right now, as of 
five minutes ago, uh, I got a text from uh, Chief Gallagher, who's in San Diego. His official retirement date is the 30th, um, and it is moving forward as supposed to, according to the officials he talked to just minutes ago. And uh, he'll be getting on a plane uh, coming home for Thanksgiving, and then he'll go back out for his final day or two in, uh, in the United States Navy. And from that point forward, He's going to move on with his life and, and uh, live happily ever after, I hope, with his family. And we hope so as well. We know the president is hell-bent on making sure that happens. So how many deployments has Eddie had? He oh. had uh, 20 years uh, in the United States Navy, eight combat deployments, um, and, a, and an extremely, extremely heroic and dedicated career. It's amazing. This is where we're at with this whole situation. We know you've been there by his side throughout the entire thing. It's always great to get an update from you on this, Bernie. And you can check out Bernie's op-ed at Newsmax.com right now. Thanks, as always, for your time. Thanks, John. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing news channel. Newsmax TV is now available for free on your smartphone. Just go to your iPhone or Android store and download the free Newsmax TV app. Then you can watch free TV news with an American spin anytime, anywhere in the world. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.